Hello, everyone. So, welcome to Hugo, Oklahoma. Do you like my little Hollywood sunglasses? Picked up in Florida. So, I am in Hugo, Oklahoma at the cemetery. Now, this cemetery is famous for two reasons. People come from all over the country to see two different things here. So, the first part I want to show you, there's some people walking over here. The first part I want to show you is the very first two graves that are really famous here. And then I'm going to take you over to what they call the Circus Cemetery. So, yeah, my mom wanted me to record this in front of the flag. So, hey. So, we are in Hugo, and this is one of the most beautiful cemeteries around. But, there is someone famous buried here. Now, if you live in Oklahoma, rodeo is a big part of life in Oklahoma. There's a rodeo in every small town all across the summer so you know rodeo is big horses cows and rodeo and when you think about rodeo and think about one of the most famous stars in rodeo there's one name that comes to mind and he kind of died sadly in, Sh in Cheyenne many years ago but they made a movie about him that a lot of you may have seen called eight seconds that's right, I am here in Hugo, Oklahoma, at the gravestone. I'm not only a world champion bull rider, but a classy guy altogether, and I am here at the grave of Lane Frost. So let's check him out. So y'all, this is the most famous grave here in Hugo Cemetery. This is the grave of Lane Frost. Um, I've been here many a times. And as you know, Lane Frost was a bull rider he was a world champion, and he lost his life in Cheyenne, Wyoming, when a bull, his horn, actually pierced through his ribs, and he died instantly. He was best friends with Tuff Heaterman, and yes, I do know a little bit about rodeo, as you can tell, I'm throwing out some big names here. And uh, so he died in the, in the, the mud and the, the rain and the dirt of Cheyenne, Wyoming. There is a song that uh, one of my favorite singers has made about that song. Um, so you should check it out. Yeah. Of course, you know when I'm trying to think of names. But uh, I'll mention that in the comments because I can't think of all of I've only seen him in concert three times. But anyway, this is Lane Frost's game. He died in 1989. I was in high school then, and I remember that. And uh, so people like to come here and leave mementos on his grave. We got a spur and a bull. He has a couple bulls here. That one looks like it fell down. Beer. Oh, look at this one. So yeah, people come from all around and leave mementos. I've left flowers here before and I think I've also left some change I wonder what this is. Oh, look, someone drew him a picture. Lane Frost and Red Rock. So a lot of you know he was famous. I think the only one that rode Red Rock. Yeah. So let's let's check out the back of this one. With all the money. World champion. He was a world champion bull rider in 19... 87 at the National Finals Radio. It says, Lane, I love you, Kelly. Married to Kelly, Kyle, 1985. So here's some more stuff in the back. But yes, they made a movie about him called Eight Seconds, one of my all time favorite movies. About him and his friendship with Tuff Heaterman. And I got to meet Tuff Heaterman and, uh, very nice guy. I got pictures with him. Now, he is actually buried next to this famous grave. This is Freckles Brown. Now, I did try to do a little research on Freckles before I did this video. And uh, so I'm going to try to tell you what I can remember from reading it because I don't have it right in front of me. But Freckles Brown is also a bull rider. And he uh, got his name Freckles because, well, he first of all, he's the youngest of 10 kids, and he got his name Freckles because he worked at a dairy farm when he was like 14, and the owner of the dairy farm named him Freckles. 
It said that in 1941, he rode a horse 50 miles from where he was working on a farm to Cheyenne, Wyoming. No, was it Cheyenne? Oh, no, no, so it wasn't Cheyenne. Was it Cody, Wyoming? Oh, no. See, I'm, I'm doing it from memory. But here's the whole gist of the story. So up in Wyoming, I think it was Wyoming, he rode a horse 50 miles to a rodeo and rode in his first and and won his first bull riding event there. Can you imagine back in the day? Hey, I'm going to go bull riding and I'm going to ride a horse 50 miles to get there. And then he wins the event. So he they said his career spanned over 37 years riding bulls and this was the hero of Lane Frost. So that is why Lane Frost is buried here in Hugo next to Freckles Brown. It also said that back in um, either the late 60s, early 70s when he was riding. Now think about this. He was born in 21 and he spanned his year for 37 years. But he, in his later year of his career, had an accident where he fell off a bull right on his neck and was paralyzed. They were able to get him to the doctor and they said the doctors pulled his neck and when they did it snapped it back into place and that, that sounds crazy nowadays and he regained all of his feeling back in his feet that's what it said i read it on the internet <laughs> but anyway so he was uh he did win a also a world champion bull riding championship in 1962 he was a world champion bull rider freckles brown so he was in 62 and Lane Frost was in 1987. So let's see the front of his. Here's a picture of him riding. My friend and your friend, Freckles Brown, he was a small man but had a large hand. He never walked but always ran when traveling down the road. He always carried the biggest load by walkie beaten and he was a sar he was in the army he was a sergeant in the army he was a horse in the u.s army world war ii horse-drawn artillery teamster horse shoer he also horseshoed and he served in the Gi chinese theater a member of the office of statistics service under major general william j donvin and it said over here, to my wife, Edith, I love you the best of all the crew, Freckles Brown and Lane Frost. So those are the two most famous graves here. They have such pretty tombstones here. Look at this one. But I'm going to take you over now and show you why people come from all over. Not just to see Lane Frost, but they come from all over to see the circus cemetery. So what I know is that Hugo is famous, especially back in the early 1900s, um, for having circuses. There's still a few here. But what happens in the winter, these circus companies would come in to Hugo and they would set up their headquarters and they would take care of the animals during the winter because of the mild temperatures here. And that would be their headquarters for the circus. And then of course, during the summer, they would travel you know, all over the country, and then they'd come back to Hugo. So Hugo is known as the Circus City, and it has a really beautiful, beautiful circus cemetery. So we are about to walk into the Circus Cemetery. Actually, it's down just a little bit farther. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but let me show you this one tombstone, and then I'm going to take you over to the Circus Cemetery, which is actually this next section over. But this one is really cool. They just have pretty, pretty, pretty tombstones. James Marshall, February of 1924 to January 25th, 1997. He was handsome back in the day. Look at that, girls. Said, by any means, a gentleman, a gentleman's man, and a patriot who enlisted and proudly served his country during World War II in the United States Navy aboard the USS Curtis, a seaplane sea tender in the uh, waters of South Pacific. It must be, that must be 
the ship that he was on in World War II. Isn't that pretty? Huh, he got married in 98 and then died in 99. So he was he he, he got married later in life or that was a second marriage. But in that beautiful gravestone, a beautiful tribute to a veteran. Oh, here it is. God saw you. God saw you getting tired, and a cure was not to be. So he put his arms around you and whispered, Come to me. And with tear for ours, we watched you and saw you pass away and thought we love you dearly. We could not make you stay. A golden heart stopped beating. Hands, working hands, were put to rest. God broke our hearts to prove to us he only takes the best. Oh my gosh, I wish that was on my dad's tombstone. Now that is amazing. That just reminds me of my dad. Because he was getting tired and a cur was not to be found. Oh, love that. All right, so let's go and check out the circus, people. Circus, circus. Okay, y'all, so I was going to head over and get the car, drive mom up so she could see me while we, I record the circus cemetery, and I came across this grave. And this grave is only like two rows behind Lane Frost and Freckles Brown. And to find out he is a professional rodeo star. Didn't even know this was here. So anyway, it looks like he was a team wrestler. I mean, a calf wrestler. And it says this is to certify that Turk Robertson is a life member of the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association. The Marlboro Man. And look at that. I didn't even know that was here. I'm going to have to research him. I don't know a lot about him. So. And then, uh, yeah, how cool. So, this says Todd. This says Verna. So, maybe this is father, mother, and son, maybe. But anyway, yeah, he was a member of the you know, Rodeo Association is so weird because he's so close to, to, you know, Lane and Freckles. And I didn't even know it. I just saw the rodeo picture and I thought, huh. So I'm going to have to research him a little bit. So they're all Robertsons, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of weird. They all have different names. But anyway, interesting. So let's head on over to the circus, circus, baby. We're here. This is the world famous circus cemetery in Hugo, Oklahoma. The showman's resting place. Look at that. I never get tired of coming to this place. Look at that, people. So anyway, so when you first get here, you're going to see a lot of unique things. This one's the big top, God we trust. Tall Grass Showman. And, uh, yeah, John August Strong. So he was one of those, uh, you know, he was the head of the circus there. Ringmasters. Now, the, I do know that there is, yeah, let's see here. So, yeah, this is all, these people, most of them are all, were in the, the circus. And it's just amazing he's a he was a captain United States Marine Corps retired so yeah this is they have such pretty unique graves here so here's the back of the Big John they called him Big John the man with more friends than Santa Claus peace be with you Big John which reminds me of a song Big John do 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 big john anyway i like that song so we've got kelly miller with the circus this one was with carson barnes five ring circus we have cooper he gave the world a smile each day and he was a member of the carson barnes circus the kelly miller circus i can't read that one allen brothers circus these all were headquartered here and Hugo when they were at their prime and like I said there's still a few that are still here 
They do have an elephant sanctuary here that you can actually go and pay money and pet the, the elephants. So, yeah. Now, so let's see what else we can find here. Karen Kathy Miller Harvey. And this one is really cool. He's got the lions up here on each side. Oh, this is Miller. Yeah. This is the founder of one of those circuses because I remember there was one of them named the Miller Company. So this is probably his front gate too. Because each of them, if you drive over and look where the, the, and I have done this before with the circuses, all they all have little gates with their little titles. So, yeah. Pretty cool. This is also a Miller. Alan G. Kelly and Miller Brothers Circus. So, yeah, these were probably owners of the circus. You got the ticket box, main entrance. And he died in 69. This must be his wife. She died in 1997. I wonder if she did anything in the circus or just married to the guy who owned the circus. But most of them probably started as circus performers before they got into... Here's another one in the Miller family. So probably father, son... It's funny how they made them kind of like, I bet this one is the son, the other one is son, and the one in the middle is parents. I don't know, though. Let me think. 1903, 1885. Yeah. So this is probably the parents. These are probably one of, one of their sons on each side. Because they're, they're, they was born in 1886 and 1903. So that's kind of cool. Let's see what else we got up here. This one's cool. Also part of the circus. Because you can tell the circus cemetery is kind of like they got elephants all the way around. So you know which one is which. So. And everybody leaves the little money as tokens of appreciation. That one's been there a while, 1979. This one, as you can tell, her name was Gracie. And she, what do you call that? That is a high train. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've been to the circus. Not the high wire, but the other one. <laughs> Where you swing across and flip and catch everybody's hands. Yeah, you're all going to laugh at me because I'm like, I get a little nervous sometimes doing these videos and I get tongue-tied. So you'll have to bear with me every once in a while when I get tongue-tied. Because <laughs> I, like, I got so much I want to say, and then I get where I want to say it, then I'm like, what was I trying to say? Concessions. Circus, Ferris, Carnival, Rodeo, Ice Show, Street Corners. We have had the good life, but the season ended. Aw. Concessions. Circus, Circus, Fairs, Carnivals, and Rodeos. Ice Show, Street Corners. We had the good life, but the season ended for Donnie and Irene McIntosh. That's pretty. So, yeah. Love it. That one's old. This one, a tribute to all showmen under God's big top. So you got your big top tent and your big elephant. A tribute to the showmen. This, this is just, I love this cemetery. It's great. There's the big wheel. Ted, Ted Bowman died in 1999. There's nothing left but empty popcorn sacks and a wagon tracks. The circus is gone. Aww. There is nothing left but empty popcorn sacks and wagon tracks. The circus is gone. Check that one out. I mean, they were very creative when they were making some of these tombstones. Frank and Gladdy, they were in the circus. They were married in 1924. Pretty cool. So, here's another one. They were probably also... Married in 1964. 
the Van Von Der Heden. I recognize the name, but I'm probably saying it wrong. Oh my gosh. Look at that snake. He was a snake handler. The riding Conleys. They rode those big old horses. Life on the road was an, our adventure. Circus, our national parks. The riding Conleys. And then here's some more. Maria Luzzi, National Park Ranger. She was a park ranger. Circus truck tow. <laughs> I love that. Look at that. Elephant towing their big old RV. Oh, that's funny. Susan Annette, circus performer and school teacher. So, yeah. That name sounds familiar with the Vander Heidi. Anyway, please don't crucify me if I get these names wrong. I, I try. Gone to lay out the next lot. Clock. Yeah, lot. So let's see what this is. So this is just like cremation ones. The biggest big top on earth. This is new, I think. Circus Giant Zoo and Giant Zoo. Look at them. So this is where you, I guess you could be cremated and then just put 30. A 30-year circus. See you down the road. Hey. That's me. <laughs> in Germany. I see he was born in Germany and came over here to be in the circus. Circus animal trainer. Oki. His name was Oki. His nickname was Oki. 19, four, born in 1940. Died in 1999. He was a circus animal trainer. Must be an ele elephant trainer, because there is an elephant. What does this say? This says, uh, September 21st, 1925 to June 30th, 2017. He was a true friend of the Miller family. He was dedicated ambassador for the Carson Barn Circus. He was the founder of the Bird Family Tent, and he was a benefactor of the Endangered Ark Foundation. We missed you, Charlie. So that's his little tribute. And then we have another one here with an elephant and a giraffe. So, just really cool, cool graves. Nana. And then check this one out on the back. He was a tight rope. The giant Heberto. He was a tightrope walker. So if you're ever in Hugo, which is in southern Oklahoma, you gotta come out to the cemetery here and see the circus. Now this one, I don't remember this one before. Ken Turnal Benson. And then there's a picture. What, he must have been a trainer. He played the drums and announced... Oh, he played the drums and announced the show and jumped into work animal acts when someone so-called trainer would blow. He called him Turtle. They called him Turtle. He was fit in working for gophers and, and staying through thick and thin. He came from somewhere just like all of us. But for him, finding the circus, he always felt was a big plus. He worked around elephants during most of his career. Each one of them he handled, hand, handled to him was very dear. Cactus Kenny, he was called, when he did his whip and rope act, along with the pretty girl and the jigs and jack, jackass, as a matter of fact. He didn't have fancy wardrobe and never pretended to be a in fact he always looked like he needed a shave but a showman he is for season after season because it was the way of life he loved that had to be the reason and just like texas annie 
he would probably probably never get much fame but all of us old bull hands would always remember his name and when he got sick he never cried the blues and set a wonderful example for the rest of us to use yes ken turtle benson you did quite well your legacy will be there for all to tell your friend and that's him an elephant ah oh, just love it Now here's another picture. This is Zelda. No, Zifa. Zifa. She probably came from. Oh, yeah. And look, she had a horse. She was pretty. Queen of the bareback rides. I love that one. That one's cute. Here's another one. John Carroll, elephant trainer, A.J. A. Kelly Miller Brothers Circus from 48 to 68, Carson and Barnes Circus. Oh my gosh, this video is much longer than normal. But hey, it's what happens sometimes. So we just got a few more that I wanted to show you. I know there's a snake handler around here somewhere. Did I miss the snake handler? I might have. Okay, so this one was one of the, the ones that do the big wheels. Perez, yeah. And then uh, Ted. Big top elephants. Here's one of those benches. Ted, female, he must have done elephant, see? Look. For the Kelly Miller Circus. Mud show elephant man. Have a seat. On me. <laughs> I love that. Then we got Alan Joe Wright with the guitar. And this one was in the war two. You uh war war two Marine Corps. I am not sure where the snake handler is. This one is a chip trainer for monkeys. Bonnie and Warner. So as you can tell, this is pretty peaceful cemetery. Pretty trees. It's about 7 o'clock, so the sun is about to go down. And, uh, yeah, it's just pretty. I didn't find the one I was looking for. There is another one that talks about being a snake handler. I think it was snake handler, but I don't see that one. Now this one, look, is in the shape of the big top founder of the Carson and Barn Circus. So this is the founder of the Carson Barn Circus. So if any of you have ever seen any performances by these circuses, please let me know in the comments. So that one's cool. There's another one. Showman to the last. So, yeah. It's just a really neat cemetery. I've been wanting to get here for a long time and do a video for you guys. So today was the day. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm just kind of making sure I didn't miss anything really cool. I think I got most of them. So anyway, if you go up this hill, which I'm going to end this video because it's getting really long. But there's some more old graves there. It's just a really big cemetery. Beautiful resting place for Lane Frost, Freckle Browns, and our famous circus performers. And who doesn't remember going to a circus when they were a kid and seeing the clowns and the elephants and everything else that went along with the great circus. Anyway, thank you for joining me on my video. If you get a chance, like and subscribe. I'll have more videos like this. Ooh, I found the picture of this one. This is, look at this picture. Aw. They were married in 1938. 
We had a, it said we had a wonderful life together. So if you guys get a chance, like and subscribe. Come along my journeys. I will do more things about cemeteries, crafting, Amish, whatever. Um, pretty soon we'll, I'm going to go do a video of the Amish uh, greenhouse in uh, fall. Because it's absolutely beautiful. And thank you for joining me. And thank you for coming to the Showman's Rest Cemetery in Hugo, Oklahoma.